The Plug, a holy being that will always be there for you, especially when you don't need him, and also occasionally when you do. And because I don't live in the fancy America, where all the big vloggers and tiktokers are, I still rely on The Plug for my Zaza. But after years of buying from different plugs, I always wondered how much money do these guys actually make and what are the requirements to be successful in the profession. Well, finally, after the introduction of a new, scientifically enhanced type of grass, HHC, I kinda got the answer to these questions. And I'ma be honest with you, it ain't what I expected. As I said before, it all started with the introduction of the so-called new and improved ZA, HHC. And because it was new and regulations had not been set, even in my stone age country where an 18 year old can buy a liter of vodka and drink himself to death, or just get hammered and get the sudden urge to call out the 6 foot 5 undefeated heavyweight MMA fighter at the club because, well, when he sees red, body start dropping. Anyway, since this was legal and I am a law abiding citizen who wouldn't even dare to jaywalk, I thought to myself, this is the perfect moment to see what being the plug is all about. Furthermore, because most dudes in this country don't know anything about strains, hash, bud, and just take whatever the plug has, I didn't need to worry about people thinking I scammed them. Also, your boy conducted a thorough inspection of this new product using only the most delicate and scientific tools possible. Oh, okay, I hit that shit through a Red Bull canning. It kicked pretty nicely, so I dubbed it Verified Lab. After securing half an ounce of the Verified Lab, which is 14 grams in European tongue, I went to work on finding customers. And obviously the best place to start is on Snapchat. So I took a picture of the Zaza with the caption, 15 bucks per gram, hit me up. Which is a steal, because well it sold for 20 a G here. And unfortunately, I only got one sale, cause I guess most of the people who I knew smoke Verified Lab. Were plugs themselves, and knew of the existence of HHC, and that it's like 6 bucks a gram. But, I was still determined to flip them packs and make them racks, so I hit up the most trustworthy plug I knew who actually had people in his contacts who smoked Verified Lab. But were not in the business of trapping themselves. After a thorough business meeting, where we may or may not have smoked the grass ourselves, Ourselves, he conducted that the gas I had was indeed worthy of the title Verified Lab and offered to buy it all for 12 bucks a gram which I mean I got it for 8.5 so I obviously said yes at first I thought that was all I made a nice profit of about 40 bucks and was feeling good but after about two days I got a message from the plug I conducted business with reading bro that shit sold out quick can you order more I think I can actually sell this stuff for 25 a G cause people want the same stuff real bad now I think you are currently pondering two questions why didn't he just order more himself and how the hell did these dudes not know it was HHC well the reason he didn't order more himself is quite simple he is a full time OG plug so dudes does not have a bank account to order stuff and to answer the second question I truly don't know I couldn't really believe it myself but I guess most owners really don't give a fu about news and staying up to date with it. In the words of the great plug himself, these dudes just want to get as f***ed up as possible. They don't know nothing about no THC, HHC, CBD, BBC, NBA, MMA, nothing. Anyway, it all sounds great, right? Everybody loves the verified lab and are willing to pay premium for it. Plus, it's all technically legal and I don't even need to sell it myself. Well, it would have been, but there were two problems that made it a bit more sketch. You see, the issue with HHC is that it's a chemically produced product. All it actually is, is THC with a couple extra hydrogen molecules. And through thorough research, both practical and scientific, I found out that HHC is very unstable in nature, meaning one patch of the same strain can truly be verified lab. But then the next patch made with the exact same ZA and same way could be some whack leftover Reggie. It's because it's very hard to control how well this hydrogen molecule binds to the THC and not financially worth it to control the potency of each patch. So you could order that shit once and get some damn moon rock or like the first experience I had with HHC, get some damn oregano. 
And the second problem was the plug I was conducting business with didn't want that risk all to himself, so I would have to cover the upfront costs of the HHC and then give it to him where he would hopefully flip it for 25 bucks a G, which I would receive 15 bucks a G and him 10. So here I was with quite the pickle of a conundrum. Should I order a whole ounce of HHC, which by buying an ounce you get the best price per gram, but I risk it being whack Reggie. Or should I just order a fourth, therefore lowering the risk of getting whack product, but also lowering the profit margins? And the conclusion I arrived at was the best of both worlds. I ordered half an ounce, just like before. After receiving the good good, I gave half of it to the trustworthy OG plug and waited for that passive income to roll in. But unfortunately, it was as I feared. The stuff I got this time was still good and solid, but it just wasn't the verified loud I received before. So the OG plug was having trouble marketing it as premium za and lowered the price to the industry standard 20 bucks a G. But unfortunately dudes were catching on as well and some of them refused to buy the za cause they could just order it online. Like yeah you can but wouldn't you rather buy from your friendly neighborhood plug? I guess not cause after a couple days the OG plug sent me another message. Yo this stuff ain't moving like before and people catching on about the origins. I have half of the stuff left if you want I'll buy it out for 10 bucks a G or just return it to you. Which I hesitantly chose the first option so I had him just buy it out. Yet there was still the issue of the 7 G's or so I had left which I initially planned on flipping but was unfortunately unable to cause mofos knew I got that shit for pennies compared to the ass price. So I did as all plugs would do and dubbed the leftover HHC as my personal stash and just started blazing my own product, which was kinda stupid in hindsight because a couple weeks after, HHC was illegalized, as we all knew it would be, and became a rarity in the ZA industry. Which mofo started flipping that shit for 30 bucks a G, like goddamn, it ain't even that different from normal ZA. Anyway, by the end of it all, I made a bit under $100 in profit, or in another metric, about 10 Gs of ZA which I smoked myself, so really the conclusion to my plugging experience was I got free grass, which was a bit underwhelming cause I was hoping to become the local Pablo Escobar if you know what I mean. Moral of the story is don't get high off your own supply, or at least if you wanna be a businessman. Oh and also don't sell illegal things, cause well this HHC was legal so I could have technically flipped it on Facebook marketplace or something. Oh and also I finally launched a channel membership subscription, so if you wanna support the channel and get great perks check it out, it's the button next to subscribe, but obviously you don't have to, just thought I'd add it for people who want to help me and the channel some extra, but that's it, bye bye.